Hello, everyone. This is your host, Deborah Poneman, and I'd like to welcome you to our call with today's guest, Victor DePonte. Victor is a visionary who's sole purpose is to help humanity awaken to their divine power in order to transcend the illusion of lack, limitation, and separation. With over 20 years of spiritual practice and healing service, he's known internationally for his profound healing gift to remotely shift people out of their limitations, even while they sleep. Through several profound life experiences, Victor's divine vibrational gifts were awakened and continue to expand daily. In fact, Victor's unique gift has attracted clients that include some of the top leaders, coaches, and healers in the consciousness movement today. His message is simple. We are infinitely powerful beings who create our own reality. And the only thing that truly exists is infinite love. His mission is to awaken as many people as possible and to shift beyond the third dimensional reality and co-create a heavenly reality through the lens of love and light. And today you'll discover how to effortlessly receive divine downloads and infuse them into your subconscious mind matrix, ways to activate supreme power and authority over your subconscious mind. The most powerful words you can use to command supreme abundance. How to receive divine downloads for blessings and good luck. And how to command through the I am presence for effortless attraction. Wow, this is going to be amazing. Victor, thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the call. Oh, Deborah, thank you so much for that wonderful introduction and your lovely energy. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it's an honor to be here with you. I love you. <laughs> well, I love you too. And I am so excited. I could just feel that this is going to be so powerful for everyone listening. My heart is just like open, open, open. So I would love it if you could take a few minutes and share a little bit about your journey and what you feel were the major turning points that allowed you to manifest this gift that you are giving the world and really your current level of success. It's very, very exciting. So tell us about your journey. Thank you. Yes. Well, when I was about 15 or 16 years old, my mother gave me a book and it captured my imagination. And then I knew that anything was possible. And I had this great passion to realize my limitless potential But, you know, I was still a teenager and did teenage things and everything and explored like an average teenager does. But that was always in the back of my mind. And then when I was 21 years old, my mother invited me to a retreat, a spiritual retreat. And in that retreat, it was three days long, 30 hours long. And I had one of the most spiritual experiences of the first profound spiritual experiences of my life. And that's where I looked at the conductors or the people directing this course. And I said, I want to be up there. I know that that is my passion. I want to help people awaken to their divinity, to their divine power. But I had a lot of insecurity, just a tremendous amount of self-doubt, insecurity, and just on and on and on. And so I couldn't really do it. Even though they invited me to be a leader there, I only did it to a certain point. So as my life went on, I always was kind of like down on myself. Okay, I got to do something. I got to be a leader. I know this is what I'm here to do, but I couldn't get past my block. I couldn't muster up the confidence. So I try to find the confidence outside of me by making a lot of money, which I did in the real estate market. I was a physical therapist and I left that because I launched a real estate business and it took off. And so I was making tremendous amount of money. I swerved from the path because I was volunteering at these retreats for over five years, almost once a month, over 30 hours. And I was dedicated to helping humanity. And I was there still looking outside of me for my source, my power. But then the universe basically conspired to put me up against the wall. So when the real estate market crashed, 
I desperately looked for something to continue a successful business with. And so I moved to Colombia, which I'm here now. And when I came here, everything went wrong. Nothing worked. And then all of my savings just dwindled down to zero. I was behind on my rent, behind on my son's private school. And I had no money, no resources. You can't get loans here like you do in the United States. And I was up against the wall. And so I knew that that was a sign. It's time for me to do what I was here to do. But I was in a profound depression and anxiety and a sense of disempowerment. So I was laying in bed helpless, really. I couldn't even get out of bed one morning. When I decided to go really deep within, I just kind of surrendered as deep as you can. And this just divine light came into my being and literally erased all the disempowerment and depression and, and anxiety and the worry that I had. And I got out of the bed like if everything was perfect. And I was like, wow, I just received a divine intervention. But then I kept experimenting with what I did, and I realized how to channel this energy. And so then I started doing it and practicing on my family. And then I started taking away people's fears remotely, you know. And then I started attracting clients. And then I started giving little retreats in Colombia. And then I had an experience where I went to a shaman. I was invited to do an ayahuasca experience, and that deepened my you know, connection to my source. And so it's been evolving ever since. And just recently, maybe like a couple of years ago, I received a mind-shattering transmission. Call it from my higher self, call it from the I am. But it basically pointed out to me that all the limitations that I was experiencing weren't real and that I should stop doing it because there was no one else doing it but me. I wasn't a victim to anything. I was just a victim to forgetting the power that I had. I was a victim to forgetfulness, really, and to not realizing that I am the very source that I was looking for. And that source really gives life to all of our thoughts. So if we are the source of our thoughts, and if our thoughts create our reality, what limitation do we have? The answer is none, right? We are the source of our thoughts. We can have any belief that we want. We are a source. From that experience now, I've been inviting people to ask themselves, have you remembered to be the source of what you're looking for? Have you remembered to be the divine source that you are? And through that attention and being aware that you are a source, you can then start to command your mind instantly without needing to go into deep levels of meditation, without needing to go into, you know, hypnosis and all that is wonderful. But we are masters already. It is already the case that we are masters. We are creating our reality. The question is, are you doing it consciously or are you doing it unconsciously? So my journey has led me to this, to asking people, what do you want? And are you willing to be the source of what you want Wow, that's all I can say. What an amazing, amazing journey. And I love you said I had a mind shattering transmission. And I thought, how apropos is that? Because it shattered your mind. What you're saying is that our creation comes before the mind. The creation comes from the source. Mm. And we can manifest it through the mind, but it's really the source. The mind has to shatter so that we can get to that source. We are really wanting to know how to effortlessly receive divine downloads ourselves and infuse them into our subconscious mind matrix. Is what you're doing quantum reprogramming? Yes, and I basically decided to call it something. So I call it quantum reprogramming because that's what we're doing. We are quantum creating, quantum reprogramming. We are literally with our words, with being conscious that our words create our reality. We then decide to create a new reality or to reprogram from a quantum level through our voice, through our energy, through our presence, new thoughts and therefore new realities. So yes, I call these quantum reprogramming sessions 
where you align with your divine source. You decide to be a source of something. And through that energy, then command your mind to stop thinking things that are, aren't real and start thinking thoughts that reflect your divinity. For example, one of the most powerful words that you can use is, my abundance is already my reality. It is the case now. And all of the thoughts that are saying, no, it's not true. It's not there yet. I don't see it in the bank. All those thoughts, we literally just command them to no longer be real. Because in fact, thoughts are not actually totally real. They are just transient. They come and go. What is absolute is the only thing that is real. And source is what's absolute, never changing. Right? Thoughts are transient. They come and go. So when we say they're not real, then we step back and we then direct energy into it to dissolve it and uncreate it. Does that make sense? Yes, it makes perfect sense. But let me ask you this. So when we proclaim my abundance is my reality, I think that's what you said. The abundance that I want is the reality. And anything else is untrue. It's no longer true that I don't have it that is not already manifested. It is now, right? So you see, here's the thing, though. When we tap into the energy of source, the energy of source is really rooted in timelessness where there's infinite possibilities. So when we first step into I am a divine source, I am already one with the I am that I am and the source of the I am that I am. When you tap into that energy, you tap into timelessness. In that timelessness, infinite possibilities exist. And so from there, then you can decide what reality is. Whatever comes up to the surface in resistance of the new reality that you want to infuse into your mind, then you just command it that is no longer real. It's no longer my reality. And it's rooted not in your divinity. It's not rooted in your divine source, but it is rooted in the source that is not who you are. In other words, it's rooted in fear. It's rooted in separation. It's rooted in limitation. Because we have unlimited choices, because we are free to have any thoughts that we want, because we are source and we have the divine right to think any thought, we have the free will to think any thought, then we have infinite resources within us. And so it is an illusion that we are limited. It is an illusion that we are lacking resources. So any thought that comes up, we literally just speak the deepest truths to it. And doing so will dissolve the illusion of limitation in the thoughts rooted in separation and limitation. So do we actually just say to those thoughts and the doubts that come up, do we actually, in fact, say, I command you to no longer be a reality in my life? Mm -hmm. You don't have to use the word command because when you start doing it, it's already case because your intentions will create your reality. So you start off intending to command your reality. You can just reduce the words that you use because you can do so much more efficiently if you just know you're commanding. And so you just literally say, it is no longer real. And you speak to it and you feel it mostly. You feel the words that you're saying. And as you do, you will feel your body melting into a new reality. Fabulous. This is so great because I actually feel <laughs> that it could work. I mean, energetically, I can't wait to have some doubts so that I can say <laughs> it is no longer real. And then what I'm getting is that the more you do it, the less those thoughts even come up. Is that true? The more that you ask yourself, am I being the source of what I want? So am I being a source of abundance if you're wanting abundance? Because when you become a source, you are then giving all the time. You're not asking for it. You're not looking outside of you. You're not outsourcing your abundance to see if it's going to manifest. You're not looking outside. You are being the source of abundance. And also, it's the awareness that you are a divine source and that you and prime creator, source, divine source, are already one. It is the case because all is one and one is all, right? And then scientists, quantum physicists are now coming forward and saying that the universe is a holographic universe. And in the tiniest atom, you can find holographically the entire universe and literally the energy of the 99.999% of all the energy in the universe, you can find in one photon, basically. And so we are all literally on a physical level, one, right? And so 
When we speak these truths, they hold tremendous power. And just speaking the truth of who we are literally taps us in the source, our divine source. And in doing so, you tap into more energy. You tap into a flow. And so the more you just stay in the flow of being source, now there's a challenge, right? Because if we say to ourselves, if we're wanting to fuse with source, and many of us are looking to become one with source, right? If we're wanting to do that, then we can just say, I am source. Right. And so these words will help you fuse and become one and align with the highest frequencies of the universe. Right. The source of all creation. OK, well, I'm going to stay in the flow because you are obviously mega channeling here. I can just feel the energy is just coming through you so powerfully. So I'm going to ask you a question that we all want to know the answer to. And that is how can we effortlessly receive hmm. divine downloads, much like you are doing right now. You see, reality will follow your attention and you get what you see. What you see is what you get. So if you see yourself as source, think to yourself, I'm source. I am a source. And if I'm source is too much for you, that's okay. But just entertain it once in a while and you're going to feel a tremendous energy coming because it's all about energy. And the more energy that we can channel right? Like I'm doing, the more energy we can tap into, the more energy you will have to then create the reality that you want, because it's all energy. And so if you're wanting to transform your reality and make it a permanent place from which you are just flowing in ease, then what you do is just put your awareness on being a divine source. And when you do, you tap into a flow, a river, a stream of divinity. And then it will be effortless. It will be the most effortless because it will be a very high frequency energy. It will be the highest frequency energy. And so all the thoughts that will then come up to stop you from realizing a new reality, a new experience, then it will just get sucked into divine energy and it will automatically be transmuted. Now, there are times where we want to literally start commanding because some of our resistance can be can appear to be totally real. And so this is one of the things that I teach. When you want to get over a block and your mind is insisting that something is absolutely real and your mind is insisting that it's not possible, be aware of that because it will be rooted within you in a passionate way. And so when a limitation is rooted within you with passion, with conviction, it often is, and this is why people have difficulty moving forward with ease. So what you do is you become aware of it, and then you decide to be passion. You decide to be conviction. You say, okay, I understand that I'm really convinced. I'm passionately convinced. I have a conviction that X, Y, Z is impossible. My mind is saying it's not possible for you to be the best-selling author or whatever it is that you're wanting to be. Then you just decide then to be even more passionate yourself. Tap in passionately to your source. Tap in with conviction into your source. And remember that you have the supreme power over your mind. You are the very source of your thoughts. So no thought, no matter how deeply rooted it is within you, cannot have its way with you. You are the very source of it. Can you imagine something controlling you when you are the source of that which you've created? So you are already a supreme master because, you know, I've gotten yourself in quite a pickle. Right. And in some difficult situation. Well, guess who massively put you there? Well, you did. Right. So when we take responsibility, we take our power back. So, again, it is easy when you realize you are a divine source because then you tap into the highest frequency. And then if you tap into the highest frequency, you will be able to break down all the lower frequencies much easier. Wow. Okay. I hope that was clear. Yes, it was absolutely clear. And when you say in order to do it, that we need to tap into our source with passion and with conviction, I also get that. And obviously you are exemplifying somebody who taps into the source with passion and conviction. And if you are not yet to that point where you are hmm. feeling the passion, you're kind of just sticking your big toe into the water. <laughs> yes. Is it okay? Should we fake it and act yes. like we're passionate? Yes. And just, yes. Yes. Ooh. Because where you place your attention, it will bubble up eventually into reality. So pretend to be passionate, pretend to have conviction, pretend to be a divine source because 
it will then become your reality because we are automatically creators. And so even if you're just pretending, you see, a lot of people are going to be skeptical. Say, well, I don't think I can just tap into source just like that, right? And so that is just a thought. It doesn't mean anything, really. It only means anything if you actually believe it, right? And so step back and know that you can uncreate any thought that comes to your mind. Now, it's going to feel real, but that's what you want to do. You want to feel the thoughts that come up. And then through that feeling, fused with your feelings, then transform your thoughts into something else. Decide what you want to think. Decide what you want to be. Decide to be a source. So just ask yourself, how does it feel to be a divine source? How does it feel to be a divine source? And I asked myself more than once, how does it feel to be a divine source? How does it feel to be a source of divine love? How does it feel to be a source of love for others? How does it feel to be a source of infinite possibility? How does it feel to be a source for infinite abundance, for streams of abundance, infinite abundance? How does it feel to be a source of that? How does it feel to be a source of happiness for others? How about being a source of happiness for your family, for the ones that you love? How about being the source of happiness that you're looking for? How about being a source of happiness for the world, for the universe? How about being a source of self-love? So just entertain what's possible, right? And because we are each a source, if you tap your mind into that possibility, then it will bubble into your reality. I got it. And at first, when you said to say, how does it feel to be a source of happiness? I'm thinking, okay, so how does it feel? Does it feel good in my heart? And I realize what you're saying is you don't even have to have the answer. Just keep asking. And by how does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel? It starts manifesting. Yes. So here's another one that I love to do. You want me to show you this one? Yes. Yes. Source. Source. Be source. Be source, or just say the word source, source. And you know you're thinking about the source within you, the source that you are, source, source. And what's going to happen? You're going to start feeling a little bubbling up of energy within you, source, divine source, source. We need to tap into the life source within us, right? We need it. We need to be nurtured by it. And all the needs that our mind has, actually, it's what it really needs right? We really need our divine source. And our mind is, you know, looking outside. It's outsourcing our source. (laughs) And the reality is that we are the source of the source. (laughs) We are source. So yes, reality follows thought. And just by saying source, source, be source, even the most skeptical person, give it a try and see Mm. what happens. Mm. Yes. Very powerful. Because we are infinitely powerful. It is the reality. Okay, Mm. so here is another question. It was one of the bullets that I read at the beginning. It says, how to receive divine downloads for blessings and good luck. Is there something specific we can do? I mean, I could see how we're already receiving blessings from everything that you shared with us. But is there something specific for us to do to receive divine downloads? I am the source of infinite blessings. I am the source of being infinitely blessed over and over and over again in my life, in every single area of my life. I am infinitely blessed. I am blessed beyond all imagination. It is my reality. It is my reality. And anything less is not real. The only truth is that I am infinitely blessed now. I always have been and I always will be. And anything less is not true. What is true is that I am infinitely blessed and being blessed over and over and over and over and over again, infinitely, forever, eternally, because I am in that space of eternalness. I am in the space of timelessness where infinite blessings flow. So I am the source of infinite blessings for me, for my reality, for my family, and for for the universe, for humanity. That felt pretty good. (laughs) Yeah. So you just tap into that and you will be creating it. Well, I think we all felt tapped into that. 
Okay, so mm-hmm. you had said that you would do a quantum mm-hmm. reprogramming session to align us to the I am power and presence mm-hmm. and align with abundance. Mm-hmm. I feel like you've already done that, but is there so a let me explain exercise? about that. So we've been doing it all along yes. to a certain degree. And what I just did right now was a little bit deeper, a little bit more profound. And so it's just a matter of degree from which we do it. So if you want to do it with more passion, with more conviction, with more knowingness, through trust and faith, then you're going to do it more powerfully. And you're going to make it manifest faster. When you do it through timelessness, when you don't recognize time, where you make your mind forget time, stop thinking when is it going to happen, it is now. We'll create it deeper, more profoundly, quicker. And yeah, so let's do that. So I just want to explain that. Because we are already masters, every thought that we think creates a reality to a certain degree. So there are ways to deepen our power. And that one of the ways is we fuel it with passion. We fuel it with love. We fuel it with awareness, with the awareness that we are a source of creation. right? And so when you fuel it with all these things, with all these frequencies, ultimately is what they are. Then we create more powerfully. And so, yeah, so let's do that. Yes. So just close your eyes. Just close your eyes and take a deep breath. In through your nose. Close your eyes. Go deep within your body. Be that witness. Be awareness. Now be something even more powerful. Be the source of your awareness. Be a source. Be the source of your consciousness. Be source. Be a source. Just entertain that. Don't worry about the results. And just do it with every cell in your body. With an open heart. With all of your energy. With all of your presence. Yet be effortless. Just relax. Let go. And all the effort that you're trying to use right now. That is collapsing now. All the stress and tension and fear and worry, that is dissolving now. And that is an order. That is a command. So we set the intention now that to command our reality. We set the intention now to align with the I am that I am, to invoke the energies, the celestial energies, the celestial frequencies, to fill the entire room and to fill every cell in our body. So then we can command more effortlessly and we can dissolve and create a new reality a lot more effortlessly. And so all of the thoughts that you had that say, I don't have the abundance that I'm looking for. I hasn't manifested yet. I've tried everything under the sun and it's still not here. I'm still wanting. I'm still needing for X, Y, Z to manifest, for my abundance to manifest. So have a picture in your mind of what you've been wanting. Now that you have a picture in your mind, it could be a rough idea. It's okay. We now command through the source that we are, through this source energy that we are, and to the consciousness that gives our source energy form, we now command that this abundance that you want is already the reality and we command it through passion through love through conviction through bliss of existence through bliss we command blissfully joyfully happily abundantly passionately joyfully unconditionally joyfully unconditionally happily unconditionally lovingly We command that our abundance is already the reality. And any thought that our mind is saying, it's not possible, it hasn't happened yet, is dissolving now. As we speak to any resistance that you're feeling in your body, and you're literally commanding that resistance to dissolve and no longer be real, no longer be your reality. No longer be your reality. And I want you now to receive 
your source energy and the download of that uh, new reality being already the reality, being the case now. So it is my reality. I am being that reality. I be, I be the source of that reality. I be, so be. manifested now it is the reality and all fear all doubt all disbelief all fear all doubt all disbelief it is not who you are it is not rooted in your divine source all disbelief is not who you are you are a field of infinite possibilities you are a field of infinite potential you are a field of infinite possibility so none of these thoughts can control you. They aren't actually totally real. They are just transient. So you decide what comes and goes. So decide to experience that reality now. Decide to experience that reality now. Decide to be the source of that reality now. How does it feel to be a source of abundance? How does it feel to be a source of ever infinitely flowing abundance how does it feel to be flowing abundance? How does it feel to be divine flow? How does it feel to be a flow of abundance? It is the reality, and you are the very source of it. So take a deep breath. And feel yourself being blissful. Feel yourself being joyful. Feel yourself being grateful. Be the source of gratitude because it already is your reality. Be the source of gratitude. Be a source of gratitude and gratitude and be a divine source and just relax and just let it in. Be a divine source. Mm -hmm. Just take a deep breath and come back nice and gently to 3D. So, how did that go for you? Uh, am I supposed to put that into words? <laughs> <laughs> Quite intense. Uh, intense and intensely good, intensely uh -huh. high, intensely connecting, and intensely every cell in my body is vibrating and really full of light. And you're very and, sensitive to the energy. Yes, I am. And I just feel like I just soaked it up. And, you know, and all of my listeners, we're of the same ilk. We love oh, yeah. this energy. And that was one of the most powerful experiences. I'm never at a loss for words, but I am at a loss for words right now because it was beyond words. Well, it's good to be at a loss for words. Because that's the source of who we are. We are beyond words. So basically, we're tapping into who we really are, which is beyond words, which is the source of words, which we are infinite, invincible, uncontainable, undefinable. That's what we are. We're untouchable. And so that is the energy that you can tap into. We all have it. We are it. People ask me, what is the I am? I said, you are the I am. All right. Well, from the sublime to the point value, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they have deep subconscious issues, and we don't even know what they are, but they seem to be running our lives. You know, so many mm. people talk about our childhood issues. We were abused. We were, you know, programmed that we were no good, this, that. So what you're saying is that we don't even have to deal with them or know what they are, just kind of introduce the second element of this powerful connection to source? Or what would you say if so people both. asked you how to deal with those issues? So your priority really is always just tapping into your source energy. And from there, you just observe what happens, right? 
And so stuff will come up and, you know, some unfounded fears will come up and then they may be past life stuff and stuff like this. And so as they come up, just saying the truth of who you are, you are the source of thought. It is not more powerful than you. So decide for that resistance, for that fear to no longer be your reality, right? So you command it. So it's good to be conscious of it when it comes up and just listen. It's very powerful to listen to what your mind is saying because you then can infuse into it. You can become fused with that energy, which I see it as latent energy. So all the things that come up, it's just latent energy trying to give you back your power, you know, trying to help you reascend to who you really are. So as it comes up, don't judge it and don't worry about it. It's going to come up. So the more you align with source, it will come up, but it will be as effortless as it can be, right? And it will be graceful if you just remember that you are a source and decide to be a source of what you're looking for. And what we're looking for is love, happiness, joy, you know, and all those good things. Okay. So can you share with us what's possible for people who are listening here? I mean, maybe take a few minutes and tell us some of the amazing turnarounds or results that you've seen from people who have begun to live what you teach. Well, I get a lot of emails one of the ones that comes up to my mind immediately now is from one that said, you know, you saved my life. I thought I wasn't disempowered. I thought I was hopeless. I thought I was, you know, never going to move beyond the victimhood. And you just shattered that instantly. And now I literally don't want to kill myself anymore. Thank you. So that's a very profound one. Other ones for abundance. For example, I have an abundance program and I just got an email saying, well, you know, I highly recommend Victor's work. Do whatever you can to get it. Because, you know, I've been looking for a job for nine months. And after I did this work, and I don't know exactly how it works, is what she said. But it works because I found a job after nine months of just nothing. And following that, I received an unexpected check of $1,500 from the IRS. And everything just becoming graceful and ease and all my stress and worries just start dissolving. I had another one that comes to mind. A physical pain, a lot of headaches, back pains, and just doing this work, you know, all these pains just basically reduce from like eight down to one, two or three, very little. So pain will start to subside. Chronic fatigue, we're working with cancer. People who are given two weeks to live, it's been three months <laughs> and they're not going anywhere. For example, I remember this one person who at her job, it was a family-owned business. She would come and go from that job. She would work there sometimes and sometimes she wouldn't. Every time she would work there, the business just whoo, plummeted. And so then she came to see me and she started getting into this. And then she went back to that job. And all of a sudden, you know, she lifted up that business. And her aunt called me and thanked me. She said, I don't know what you did, but thank you. You know, so, I mean, I see all kinds of miracles all the time because we're creating miracles all the time. And so the difference is that you're going to be consciously creating new miracles, ones that you consciously want. Oh, wonderful. Okay, we want miracles. And I know you have so much more to offer. And I know that you created a special offer for everyone who's listening to this call. And I highly encourage everyone to go and take a look at Victor's special offer right now. And of course, experience it for yourself. You can just click on the button that you can see right there on your screen. And Victor, can you let everyone know what they'll find there? Yes, absolutely. So what we're offering is called Abundance Manifested Now. And the reason for the name is because your thoughts will create your reality. So it's focused on your abundance manifesting now. <laughs> and so that way it will manifest because when you use the words, of the here and the now, and you use the words of it is my reality, then it has the possibility of being your reality. It'll be in the inside. It'll be your inner reality. And once it's your inner reality, it will be your outer reality. So for example, the first MP3, which is about 20 minutes long, and it's going to be some of the most intense 20 minutes that you ever experience. <laughs> it will infuse you and download you with opening yourself to, you know, limitless possibilities of abundance. Because what happens is our subconscious mind is not used to it. So when you do this, then you will allow, you know, an infinite number of things, good things to happen to you. 
right? You'll be open for an infinite number of abundance to come your way, you know, without effort or much effort. So that's how we start. We open to abundance. So then that you will be literally subconsciously open to abundance, and then it will be effortless. The second one is going from a victimhood. A lot of you don't feel yourself as a victim, but oftentimes there are little bugs in there that you may not be aware of. And so we deal with anything that is there that may be subconsciously sabotaging your abundance. And we turn the victimhood or the perception that you're a victim into being victorious and victoriously abundant and now. And so we have all kinds of infinitely powerful words that I use to download that reality now for you. So really all you have to do is just sit back and let it happen. Just be present. You can listen to this stuff at night while you sleep, but I encourage you to listen to it consciously because you will then give your energy to it and be more powerful. So the third one is everything is manifested effortlessly now. And you'd be surprised just how powerful everything manifested now is. Because ultimately, you are wanting everything, everything that you want to manifest. And so when we command our mind with the word everything, then we allow for everything that we want to manifest. So if you believe that everything is manifested now, then you're given a chance for it to actually manifest. And so it's a very powerful, one of my favorite ones, one of the most powerful ones. In my opinion, actually, they're all very powerful, but that one is one of my favorites. It lays the foundation for everything that you want to be possible. That means, you know, love, friendships, business, money, wealth, health, everything. When you use the word everything, believe me, your mind is going to, you know, come to defense and say, wait a minute, everything is not manifested now. What are you talking about? X, Y, Z. And so these are the things that will be dissolved and reprogrammed. And Another one, separation to I am. Because if you're not experiencing the abundance that you want, it's because subconsciously you think you're separate from it. Right? Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, you, I mean, you think you're separate. You're not one with it. There's a thought. I'm separate from it. I don't see it. It's not here. I'm not with it. I'm not one with it. So we use the word one to become one with the abundance that you want. So all the thoughts, all those bugs that say I'm separate from it. It's not within me. It's not possible. I don't deserve it. All of these things will dissolve. And then I won't go into every single one of them, but from fear, there's deeply rooted fear. So all the fear that you have with abundance, judgment will dissolve those. And then there's item number six, being blessed, right? Being blessed with abundance. How many people out there don't feel blessed? Don't feel they deserve blessings. Well, we'll get rid of that. And you know, you can be blessed then with unexpected checks coming to you, for example. That will be a blessing. You open yourself up to blessings. And unknown resistance. So when you feel a resistance in your body, there's an audio for that. And you're not sure what it is. You see, as an infinite, powerful being, you have the power to command, you know, the disillusion of any block that you have, even if you don't know what it is. So the MP3 number seven, which is another one, about 20 minutes, we dissolve unknown blocks to abundance. And of course, the famous from scarcity to infinitely abundant now is number eight and all the judgments. See, one of the things that holds us back the most in my experience, it's self-judgment, self-judgment. And so you're going to do away with that. So basically, we're cleaning you up from head to toe in the most profound way possible so you can allow abundance in so that's what the program is about and the last one is kind of like the last sort of like grand finale is just like the reality of absolute abundance you know so it's kind of like the last fusion into abundance so that's number 10 and the bonuses bonus number one is the quantum reprogramming i am transmission to move beyond strain and struggle and ego and bonus number two which is another live call i did is 60 minutes long. It's another I am transmission, a reprogramming session where you enter into the pureness of your being and unconditional love. And finally, the third one is called the I am fusion. And so what I've been talking about today, being a source of the divine, being a source of all the things that you want, we really, really, really focus in the I am fusion in being that source. 
it really fusing into that source and undoing the conditioning that doesn't allow you to stay there effortlessly all day long. So that basically is the package. It has over a thousand dollar value and we're giving it for $97. So I wholeheartedly invite you to experience it. I wholeheartedly second (laughs) (laughs) that everybody experience it. I mean, when you did that transmission, that exercise, I don't even know what to call it with us today. Mm. That was so powerful. And that was just a taste. That was just a few minutes. And to have all of these with this very specific energy, transmuting fear and judgment and melting away resistance and all of that, all of these specific programs, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much, so much for putting this together for us. And you can just click on the special offer button that's on your screen. I mean, I'm still vibrating from what we did whenever it was a half hour ago. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to start listening to these and kind of renew that and amp it up and have it just be that living reality in my life. So, okay. One more question. What are the biggest benefits that you feel people can expect to experience starting right away and then over time by applying, by using this program, by enjoying these different MP3s? Bliss. The first thing that you can start feeling is bliss. That's possible. Immediately, you can start reducing your fear, moving forward, taking action, you know, eliminating procrastination, actually just being free. You know, that's priceless. Being you. This allows you to be who you really are. Be you freely. I mean, this is priceless. And in the long run, again, (laughs) it's being free. It's being you and reclaiming your power and creating consciously, you know, the world is open. There's infinite possibilities for you. And so in the long run, you will learn to master, consciously master those infinite possibilities. Well, really being you, reclaiming your power, and mastering infinite possibilities, I think if we got one of the above, we'd be really happy. Mm. (laughs) And I am just feeling the energy from you that the reality is that we can and we are all three of those, and it will just become more and more of a reality as we work with this program. Mm. And I just know it. I feel it in my heart and every fiber of my being. So then the last thing I'm just going to say is before we sign off, do you have any final thoughts that you would like to share with us before we say goodbye? You know, tap into your source. I can guide you to get there really quick. It's been a process, an evolutionary process for me. And it's come to this point where I can literally help you shatter your limitations as quick as humanly and divinely possible. And so I just invite you, it's a, you know, from soul to soul, I invite you to dig in deeper into this. And so, and thank you for, you know, taking your time to listen. And I appreciate it and I honor you for doing that. So, and thank you, Deborah, for this special opportunity. It was a great honor to share this with you. I'm a fan of yours. Oh, well, thank you. I am a fan of yours. I have to tell you, I don't know. I just feel like crying right now, but crying tears of joy and appreciation. This has been beyond amazing. You are such a gift to the world. I just know that your influence is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I just feel it so deeply. So thank you for being you and thank you for sharing this time with us. Thank you. And I'd also like to say thank you to everyone for spending the time with me and with Victor DuPonte. And I really appreciate all of you. And I look forward to when we can all be together again. This is Deborah Poneman. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I know you will. Bye for now.